Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, Credol A. Eh? <laughs> okay, so uh, this month, Credol A eh, will be taking you through the children's sermon. And uh, we, before we continue, we shall pray. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we give thanks for gathering us here today to hear from you. We pray that you may speak to us and help us to listen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so last month, the month of January, the YMCs took us through uh, the, the fundamental belief number 17, which is spiritual gifts. And so this, sub, this month, we are going to expound on what they started, and we are going to talk about the spiritual, the, the gift of prophecy, which is fundamental belief number 18. Okay, so we have, this is the gift. I, we have come, we have prepared ourselves with boxes. This is the gift of prophecy. So the first thing we are going to learn today is we are going to find out what this gift of prophecy is all about. So the gift of prophecy is a special ability that allows us, uh, allows God to, to speak through us. And he speaks through us and allows us to, to speak to other people as well. So we become the mouthpiece of God. God talks to us in a special manner. He speaks through us. He speaks to us in different ways. But because of sin, he is unable to come and speak to us face to face. So he will use different methods to come and speak to us. So one of those methods is through the gift of prophecy. So he allows us to be his mouthpiece and talk his message, to, pass his message along to other people. And so... Um, examples of prophets in the Bible. I hope you will help me, Kredol A. Do you know of any prophets in the Bible? What? Elijah. Uh -huh. Someone else? Samuel. Yes, we have so many prophets in the Bible. So someone like Samuel, he was a very young boy when God called him to be a prophet. He was, I think, I do not know the age, but he was a little boy. And God used him to pass his message on to other people. Yes. So, um, today, is it possible to have prophets today? So, God promises us in the book of Joel, chapter 2, 28, that he is going, in the last days, he will pour his spirit to us. And then the, pro, uh, the sons and daughters will be able to prophesy. So in the last days, we will be able to prophesy. We will be able to speak the message of God to other people. And that means that we are able to predict the future. God is able to tell us what is going to happen in the future. He is going to tell us, to give us hope. If times are going to be troublesome, then going, God is going to give us hope so that we will be able to find comfort in him. And at the end of it all, we'll, we know that Christ is going to come again and we are going to be with him and all the sorrows that we have will, will come to an end. And so today, we, we as Adventists believe in the writings of one person, Ellen G. White, and he has, she has written so many books, and those books have helped us to learn a lot of things about health, about the love of God, about uh, the life of Jesus, what we, we are how we are supposed to dress, how we are supposed to eat as Adventists. And so this message, we are not supposed to keep it to ourselves, we are supposed to pass it on to other people as the mouthpiece of God. Yes. So... But now the problem is in the last days, there will be so many false prophets who will come to, to lie to us. In as much as God wants to be our friend, we know that there, there's also one person who is our arch enemy, someone called Satan, the devil. So he will, God will, will pass his message on to his true prophets, but at the same time, Satan will also work very hard to pass false, to pass false messages through his false prophets. So be very careful, lest you fall out of the faith. We need to pray that God helps us so that we, we, we get this gift of prophecy because it's a very, it's a very uh, special gift that will help us to be able to stand during tough times. 
So this Sabbath we have covered what the gift of prophecy is. Next Sabbath we will find out who these true prophets are, who these false prophets are, and how can we get this gift of the Holy, of, uh, I mean gift of prophecy, and how we can use this gift of prophecy. So stay tuned, and at the end of it all, we will ask questions, and there will be gifts for those who will answer. So stay tuned, and all the others as well. Yeah, thank you. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for teaching us today about the gift of prophecy. We pray that your spirit may help us to be able to use this gift in the right way and that we'll be able to identify the true prophets and be able to learn from you every day and grow in you. Bless us as we continue in your service. In Jesus' name, amen.